This is a brief tutorial to show how to use Fast Stone Capture in order to take pictures of what is on our computer screen. Once you have Fast Stone Capture running, then you can click these various icons to take different kinds of pictures. Now we want to take picture of the quick style gallery showing the different styles available to us in Word. For this tutorial I will use this icon because it allows a delay and so we can uh, open menus and arrange things just the way we want our picture. This icon also allows us to draw a square or a rectangle to take just the picture of just the part of the screen that we want. So here goes. Click this icon, open it up, and then wait for the delay. Okay, now we just draw what we want here. We want just the quick style gallery, and then it opens up in the Fast Stone Editor. Now we don't need all this garbage, so we will crop. Uh, Fastone is set up to make easy cropping. This sort of cross shows you that you can draw a box. Put the cross in the upper uh, corner of where you want to start. Press down your mouse button and drag diagonally until you have the area you want to keep. Then click the crop button. Now we can also add text, arrows, and other annotations. And to use that, we use the draw box, like this. Now in the draw box, the A stands for text. And we use this button to draw arrows. This makes free lines. This makes outline boxes, solid boxes, etc. So suppose we want to add some text. We click on the A and we draw a little box. Again, hold the mouse button down as you draw diagonally. This shows you the typeface, the size, and the color. So let's just put in an annotation. This, this displays the quick style gallery in Word. Now of course we can't read that because our box is too small. So we go to one of these boxes here, wait till we get this funny eye cursor, press down the mouse button and drag, and then we have uh, a box. Now this kind of cursor allows you to move the box so you can place it where it looks nice. Now if you wanted to draw attention to something you could put in an arrow. Uh, I don't know if we really need an arrow but just to illustrate. Again here's where you want to start the arrow, press the mouse button, draw up and release. If you don't like the color you can change the color down here. We can have a pretty red. Okay. And now we have an annotated picture. So we click OK. Now we can copy this and paste it into Word or a PowerPoint slide. But in all events, we probably want to save it so we can use it again in the future. Now I always save in the ping format. There are other choices. But I think ping gives the clearest picture with the smallest file size. And of course we need a more meaningful name than all these numbers. So I'll just say word quick style gallery and then save it. This now, for those of you who are using Fast Stone Capture repeatedly, you might want to make some use of the settings box. Uh, this is the icon for settings. And uh, 
The main one is the delay before capture. By having a delay, you have time to open your menus uh, and get everything set up. Uh, without a delay, uh, once you press the capture button, it goes instantaneously. You can't make any changes to your screen. Obviously, there are other settings, whether you want the mouse to be captured and so on. But that's enough for now. And this concludes our short tutorial on using Fast Stone Capture to make screenshots, take pictures of what's on the screen in our computer.